Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your friendly neighborhood critic here and boy oh boy do we have a spicy topic to dish about today. Grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's dive into the latest chapter of the saga that just keeps on giving. The continuing adventures of Meghan Markle and her seemingly never-ending quest for popularity. Now, I know what you're thinking. Another day, another drama with the Duchess of Sussex. Well, you're not wrong, folks. But this time, we've got some cold, hard numbers to back up what many of us have been suspecting for a while now. Meghan's PR machine might be working overtime, but it seems like the American public isn't buying what she's selling anymore. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, let's break it down, shall we? A new poll by Redfield and Wilton has just dropped, and let me tell you, it's about as flattering to Meghan as a funhouse mirror. The results? Well, let's just say if popularity was a race, Meghan would be trailing behind so far she'd need binoculars to see the finish line. Now I know polls aren't everything, heck, if we believed every poll out there, we'd be eating kale for breakfast and thinking pineapple belongs on pizza. But when you're a public figure, whose entire brand is built on being likable and relatable, these numbers hit harder than a double espresso on an empty stomach. Let's rewind a bit, shall we? Cast your mind back to 2020. Meghan and Harry had just done their grand megxit, packing up their tiaras and heading off to the land of milk and honey, or should I say avocado toast and green juice. They were going to take America by storm, right? Be the cool, modern royals that would show these stuffy Brits how it's done. Fast forward to today and, well, let's just say things haven't quite gone according to plan. Despite a Netflix deal that was supposed to be hotter than a California heatwave, a Spotify podcast that lasted about as long as my New Year's resolutions, and more tell-all interviews than you can shake a scepter at, Megan's popularity has taken more dips than a roller coaster. Now, I'm not saying Megan's trying to compete with Kate, but if she is, well, let's just say it's like watching a high school talent show act try to upstage Beyonce. It's admirable, sure, but honey, you're playing in different leagues here. The numbers don't lie, folks. While other royals are seeing their approval ratings rise more than the temperature in Death Valley, Meghan's popularity is stuck in the mud. And we are not talking about in the UK, where, let's face it, she was never going to win any popularity contests after Megxit. No, we're talking about right here in the good old US of A, where Meghan was supposed to be the returning, conquering hero. But here's the thing that really gets me, neighbors. It's not just that Meghan's unpopular, it's the why of it all. We've seen celebrity comebacks before. Heck, Robert Downey Jr. went from jail to being the highest paid actor in Hollywood. So what's going wrong here? Well, let's look at the evidence, shall we? We've had the Oprah interview, where Meghan and Harry aired more dirty laundry than a college dorm on Parents Weekend. We've had the Netflix documentary, which was about as revealing as a burka in a sandstorm. And let's not forget Spare, Harry's memoir that was supposed to set the record straight but instead just set a lot of people's teeth on edge. Now, I'm all for speaking your truth, but there comes a point where you have to ask yourself, is this really the hill you want to die on? Is complaining about the hardships of royal life while living in a multi-million dollar mansion in Montecito really the best look? It's like watching someone quit their job in a blaze of glory, trash-talking their boss on the way out, and then spending the next three years telling anyone who will listen how awful that job was. At some point, people start to wonder if it was so bad, why can't you stop talking about it? And let's talk about the Kate factor for a minute. Now, I'm not saying Megan's trying to compete with Kate, but if she is, well, let's just say it's like watching a high school talent show act try to upstage Beyonce. It's admirable, sure, but honey, you're playing in different leagues here. Kate's got that whole keep calm and carry on thing down pat. She's out there doing her royal duties, looking like she just stepped out of a fairy tale and never putting a foot wrong. Meanwhile, Megan's over here trying to reinvent herself more times than Madonna, and it's just not sticking. But here's the real kicker, folks. While Megan's popularity is tanking faster than the Titanic, her husband isn't faring much better. Poor Harry. Once the cheeky, lovable spare is now about as popular as a root canal on a holiday weekend. It's like watching your favorite sitcom character get written into a really bad spinoff. And let's not forget about the kids in all this, Archie and Lilibet, growing up in Montecito, rubbing elbows with the likes of Oprah and Katy Perry. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's a far cry from the life they might have had as part of the royal family. 
Will they thank their parents for this normal life? Or will they grow up wondering what might have been? But here's the multi-million dollar question, neighbors. Can Megan turn this ship around? Can she find a way to win back the American public? Or is she destined to be forever seen as the royal family's black sheep? Personally, I think it's going to take more than a few carefully staged photo ops and ghost-written articles. If Megan really wants to win people over, she needs to get real. And I mean really real. No more carefully curated Instagram posts or perfectly polished statements. People can see through that stuff faster than a cheap pair of glasses. What Megan needs is a genuine reinvention. Not as a royal, not as a victim, but as Megan. The woman who worked her way up in Hollywood before she ever met a prince. The activist who cared about causes before they came with a tiara. The real person behind the headlines. But here's the catch. To do that, she'd have to let go of the royal connection, and let's be honest, that royal connection is about the only thing keeping her in the headlines these days. It's a catch-22 that would make Joseph Heller proud. So what's next for Meghan? Will she double down on the victim narrative, hoping that eventually people will come around to her side? Will she try to rebrand herself as a Hollywood power player, leaving her royal past behind? Or will she find some middle ground, a way to reconcile her past with her present and future? Only time will tell neighbors, but one thing is for sure. Whatever Megan does next, we'll all be watching. Because let's face it, in the grand circus of celebrity, Meghan Markle is the ultimate high wire act. We can't look away, even when we know we probably should. So what do you think, folks? Is Meghan's unpopularity justified? Or is she getting a raw deal? Can she turn things around, or is she destined to be forever overshadowed by the likes of Kate? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and remember, in the court of public opinion, everyone's the judge. As for me, I'll be here watching it all unfold with a bucket of popcorn and a healthy dose of skepticism. Because in the world of celebrity, the only thing more entertaining than a rise to fame is a fall from grace. And Meghan Markle, while well, she's giving us one heck of a show. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.